All Welcome right. back. Yep, yep, this yep. is Still Breakfast Daily right here on CCTV. Remember, the show is interactive. You can send us a WhatsApp message using the number 0550-585-832. And remember, if you're texting us from beyond the shores of Ghana, do prefix the number with the country code plus 233. You can also use the hashtag Breakfast Daily across all social media platforms. Let us know what you're thinking, what you're feeling, the things that you want us to talk about and tackle on the show as well. We're more than willing to take those and run with them yep and in 11 days time we have a massive event that we're bringing your way it's a very 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 important event and um, uh, some of our time is going to help us to get into the crux of the conversation this morning so means this is Ghana <laughs> fair and exhibition on the 27th we go yep. we go live um, from the AMA um, let's talk about the why mm -hmm. the, the the why is it that this event is happening why are we hosting this event <laughs> wow <laughs> sounds like an examination <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna discuss, <laughs> discuss. <laughs> for real it's, uh, this was an exams question when i was in level two Yo, what do you call it oh, wow. yeah, yeah. okay in um, information systems and okay. information management, wow. something like that, <laughs> you know, about first and exhibition as a communication tool. Oh, <laughs> wow. We'll discuss. discuss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I think I passed. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think. <laughs> yeah, so we are making our um, platforms available to promote Ghana mm -hmm. generally. And on this occasion, the, the other day was uh, Ghanaian indigenous foods. Yes. Okay. Uh, which is back to your yeah. village. Right. This time, we are trying to showcase our capabilities as a country. We are trying to illustrate the skills that we have that can bring value to our economy. Okay. And um, we are also trying to, trying to build this platform that can help promote sale. So that's why this is Ghana is important. Um, so all the things that are created, crafted, uh, packaged in Ghana, and this would include products, services, innovations, and related um, offerings that are all done in Ghana mm -hmm. by Ghanaians. Mm -hmm. um, there have been different types of the made in Ghana fairs, mm. you know, um, which which is very good. But you know, when they do the fairs, they are normally targeted uh, specific industries, mm. you know. But this one opens itself up to to more industries. Mm. Um, so we have segmented them into different villages okay. and the like. So. If you come to This Is Ghana mm. as a participant, you are likely to have an experience which is a kind of a 360 degrees experience okay. across sectors, across industries. Mm. Um, so that by the time you are through with walking around all the pavilions, mm. you will be able to convince yourself that um, Ghana has something to offer. Mm. Uh, because really, we are competing not just with our yesterday, but we are competing with the, with the countries in the sub-region yeah. right. and on the, con on the continent. Yeah. Um, um, and now we even have the AFC, FTA, yeah. yeah. after. I've never able to pronounce the <laughs> after. 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 Yeah. Just yeah. ignore this. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. You know. <laughs> and so it's important that we look inside of us to see what we have and how we can improve. And this is the beginning. This is Ghana. Mm. From sector to sector, industry to industry, showcasing what we have, promoting what we have, and, and, and trying to help ourselves to be more competitive. Mm. So mm. that's the whole essence. So Samant, how critical is it to focus on something like this and run something like this at this particular time? And we are dealing with inflation, we, and clearly, a lot of these conversations stem from the fact that we don't have 
the foreign currency and our, yeah. our economy is very much dollarized you yeah. know so how important is it at this time especially to pay attention to things like this all right so i i, I don't think that there's, there's a better time than this time mm. okay because if you uh if you follow the conversations around our economy there are the low-hanging fruits uh, which can help um, stabilize the forex situation. Um, the, what I refer to as the low-hanging fruits will be um, the things that we can do for ourselves, you know, because taking the, the dollar and buying stuff that you eat mm -hmm. from outside of Ghana is suicidal. Yeah. You know, if yeah. you can make your own clothes, why buy from a butcher? Mm -hmm. You know, things like that. So uh, 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 we are saying that, yes, we are going through a difficult patch as a country, and so are other countries. Mm -hmm. The other day, um, a friend was telling that uh, she was going to Turkey because things are cheaper hmm. there. So I quickly Googled <laughs> the story from Turkey and, and forwarded it to her. And she said, wow. I said, yeah, baby, enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy, he <laughs> so, so I'm saying that it's, it's a global mm. feature mm. and it's part of history. Um, you know, history from time to time, once we are hit by by something like COVID, yeah. uh, a pandemic of this nature, yeah. is normally followed by a global recession. Yeah. And we cannot be exempted. Mm. And this is Ghana will help us reduce our dependency on, 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 on imports. imports. Yeah. Mm. I think that's the whole essence. Mm. Mm. What are we doing here? From automobiles to agriculture to food and beverage mm. to services to innovation, everything, or let me not say, most of the things that we import, mm. we have local alternatives. Yeah. Yeah. And so the approach is to help promote the local alternatives as viable mm. and options, more yeah. profitable mm. options to the country. Mm. Mm. So this is why. And you're talking about, um, look at state housing. Mm. Mm what I call the new state housing, <laughs> okay. you know. Okay. I mean, they are doing marvelously Brilliant. well now. Brilliant. And I, I, I was telling one of their guys that what I see state housing do now only reminds me of what they used to do in the 70s. Yeah. I was a kid then, but okay. in the 70s, state mm. housing was everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, 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 now yeah. they are coming up, go to Kufu, they are there, they, yeah. they go to Ashanti region, they are there. Okay. They are launching something yeah. today, okay. you know. Yeah. And it was a, a, an organization that was almost dying. Mm. Mm. Yeah. No, and I mean, this is a dead. Ghanaian yeah. offering. Mm. Yes. So if state housing is offering you real estate properties and you have um, a foreign company offering you same. As a Ghanaian, you are thinking, which one should I choose? Mm. Yeah. Come to this as Ghana. Mm. Yeah. We will help you make that mm. logical decision. Mm. Yeah. I think that one of the things that we don't realize as a people is that every time we spend dollars to purchase something from outside Ghana, you are financing someone else's dinner mm. table yes you know you're putting food on someone else's mm. dinner table outside of ghana mm. every single decision yeah. that for you real. make yeah you know and yeah. i think it's so important for us to have that understanding because i think that when it's when if it's that clear and that stark mm. it may change a lot of people's choices yeah. and that's even know. at the basic level someone's dinner table someone's roots someone's education you're, sure. you're, you're funding someone's life and existence, essentially. Yeah. Outside you know, of Ghana. Outside of yeah. Ghana. Yeah. 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 So we're sitting here crying about road network. We're crying about bad education. And yet we are helping system. others to build their exactly. roads. Exactly. Instead of yeah. supporting but our But I mean, it's, it's just, it's, it's so simple. Um, but we have also complicated things. Mm -hmm. Because the foreigners come here and they say they are giving us money. Yeah. They give you grants. Uh, loans of all types. Once the loans are given to you, they now tell you how you should use. Mm. That's okay. Now they also bring people to, to replace to help you use. <laughs> mm. And these people are paid from the loans and yeah, the no. grants that they have given you. Mm. 
most of which end up going back, back to their countries yeah. through various forms of repatriation. Mm. So we are just saying that we have, we have experienced multiple cycles mm. of dependency on foreign countries, yeah. which didn't take us too far. Mm. But the ocean, which can take us or stabilize our economy, is learning to depend on our own capabilities, mm -hmm. honing our capabilities and learning to depend on them. So that's why this is Ghana is key. Mm. Okay. Mm. So Samens, let's talk about <clears throat> some of the sectors, industry sectors that we'll be looking at. You mentioned already food and beverage. You spoke a little bit about real estate and manufacturing. But let's really delve into it. If somebody is watching us right now, has mm -hmm. a business, it could be a service, maybe they're producing something, manufacturing something, or somebody who is at home and wants to come and contribute by purchasing and patronizing Made in Ghana yeah, yeah. goods and services. Mm. What are some of the things that we are looking at? Okay, so we are trying to attract all sectors, uh, possibly. Um, key ones in manufacturing, we are thinking of um, the local pharmaceuticals, mm. okay. you know, because I, I, I see this whole culture of if you are buying the medicine, <laughs> then buy the one from a yeah. 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 Doctor is coming there, she will explain. Yeah. <laughs> buy the one from a <laughs> and, and, and I'm like, But the active ingredients are it's the active the ingredients. Yeah. Yeah. But so the one from a means what? Yeah. It means that because the package is nicer. Yes. Who told you that packages will, will, will heal you? Will will heal you. you. <laughs> you know. So we have um, local man, um, pharmace pharmaceutical companies that are doing great job exporting to even the sub-region, you know, yeah. and, and uh, except that we ourselves, we haven't placed such value on. Mm. So local pharma companies, we also have those in some accessories, you know, they are local manufacturers of rich wrist watches. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the other time we did this project, there was um, a caveman, caveman yes. and, uh, and there were others, mm. you know, and they're doing marvelous. Yeah. And those who are into the jewelry, mm. you know, major, major, major uh, jewelry uh, uh, so makers. I must say that. So my, my wedding rings, they were mm. made in Ghana. Thank yes, you very much. Made in Ghana. This looks like an Italian piece. Yes, and these are, so this is a new set. I mean, it was a, a uh -huh. wedding gift for my fifth anniversary. Yeah. But when we began, when we were looking for these things in Ghana in 2016, we couldn't find these kinds of cuts. Mm. Yeah. Now we can. Mm. Wow. Yes. Mm. Wow. Flowers in Ghana. Yeah. <laughs> so, so people are doing marvelous, yeah. marvelously. Um, you know, I remember many years ago, maybe 10 years ago, I just wore, I actually went to Kumasi for a funeral. So when I got there, you know, Kumasi, they are very traditional. Yes. Yeah. I noticed that I, didn't, I, I don't like the Ahene Manor. Mm. It's, too it's too heavy. It's heavy. <laughs> so <laughs> around um, the new Swami area there, you know, I saw this boy carrying slippers. So me, I stopped and bought one. Mm. I just put my, my legs inside and pa, I went to the funeral. <laughs> now, I traveled to the UK and I was wearing this it's thing in a shop. Yeah. And then the shop owner now comes out Say, hey, hey, I like this one. <laughs> <laughs> he said, Italian? <laughs> I said, Kumasian. <laughs> Kumasian. <laughs> <laughs> he said, what? <laughs> <laughs> you know, the thing that is Italian, somebody is carrying on his head, <laughs> walking around yeah, with yeah. Swami. <laughs> so the potential is there. Yeah. But access to the markets. Yeah so that they can have volumes, so that they can make money. Yeah. That way, we reduce our dependency on the dollar. Mm. Yeah. You know, so accessories, um, you know. Then the automobile companies. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And we have seen some interesting growth in that sector in the last three, four yeah. years. Yes. You have the Peugeot people assembling mm -hmm. in Ghana. Yes. You have Nissan assembling mm -hmm. in Ghana. You have VW, yeah. VW assembling in yes. Ghana. Yeah. You have the Kantanga people yeah. doing everything in Ghana. Ghana. Yeah. Yeah. And that's something, something that we should talk about. Yeah. I mean, back in the day, in the 70s, VW was 
was assembling in Ghana, I think, wow. uh, through RT Briscoe. Wow. Okay. Wow. Oh, I didn't know that. That's, That's before my time. I'm not so sure about this <laughs> fact. But at least we had Adum and Boafo. Boafo made was in ahead of Ghana. Boafo. Yeah. Adum and Boafo yeah. made in Ghana. Mm. Mm. New plan was assembling mm. in Ghana. We yeah. all know that. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Nigeria mm. was they assembling Peugeot, Peugeot yeah. was assembling VW and, and other vehicles. Yeah. So what we are saying is that we can do it. Mm. We can do it. So it's time to showcase what we can do. Yeah. I mean, in times, I mean, 10, 15, 20 years ago, we were were buying all these Nissan vehicles from South Africa yeah. because they had the assembling the plans, plans there. Today, yeah. we are having it here, mm. so we need to talk about them. So automobile companies, and when you come, a lot of these companies have some sales deals mm. that you also get to know when you come to uh, uh, this, this is Ghana. This, this is Ghana. Mm. So, and the footwear people, mm -hmm. <laughs> the shoes, <laughs> the bags, yeah. They are all coming, yeah. and Charlie, me for the longest, really the last twenty years, I have always worn made in Ghana shoes. Mm. Wow, for the last twenty years. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. And, and I have no apology. No, you shouldn't. Mm. Yeah. You shouldn't. So we can do it. Mm. And what am I wearing? I wear khaki yeah. trousers. Yeah. yeah. And I wear this one. Yeah. Everything yeah. Made, in made in Ghana. Ghana. My yeah. dress, so it's, it's yeah. the fabric is mm. not made in Ghana, but the, the dress designed, mm. sewn here. Yeah. And that's somebody's livelihood. Yeah. You know? Yeah, so this, um, this shoe I'm wearing is called Aspatri. Yes. It's made in Ghana. That's the brand. <laughs> so, uh, the brand name is Aspatri. Uh, Aspatri. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shoe. And it's made in Ghana. Yeah. yeah, so that's the, yeah. Uh, well, that's the local name for shoes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. actually. Yeah. 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 That's nice. Like yeah. That's nice. And it looks like an Italian, Italiano. Italiano. <laughs> <laughs> These are actually yeah. uh, clean Oxford shoes. Oxford yeah. shoes. Yeah, so, yeah. so very nice. So mm -hmm. people are doing stuff. And we are inviting all these uh, producers and manufacturers to be part of This Is Ghana. Now, you talked about the food and beverage. That because a lot of their confectionery um, um, produce and all these things, yeah. a lot of them on the shelves are from outside. Yeah. Mm. Most of them we can do here. And I'm particularly excited about the chocolates. Hmm. <laughs> hey, but the made in Ghana yeah. chocolates, look, yeah. when I, the last time mm. at the wines of, of South, South Africa, Africa yeah. yes. some of them were there. <laughs> and Apioko, since I tasted the made in Ghana chocolates, mm. I made a vow that I will never use my money to buy any chocolate from outside of Ghana because it's a waste of time. Yeah, and well, I agree with if you. If you eat the made in Ghana chocolate, the proper, proper yeah. ones that people are producing now, and you compare it to the ones we get from outside, yeah, Charlie. Mm. The quality. <laughs> yeah. You're on because a diet too. No, no, I, I, I'll, I'll eat now. Eat at the fire. <laughs> but I'm just saying that they, they are doing yeah. so well yeah. and we need to push them. Then the juices and the carbonated soft drinks made in Ghana. Um, and, then, and then there are some very interesting uh, innovations in alcoholic beverages yeah. as well. Yeah. Very, very interesting packages that we are mm. seeing. You know, um, a lot of them are adding um, um, herbal yeah. stuff. And yeah. I'm talking about proper herbal yeah, yeah. or something. Yeah. It's not the <laughs> not one with, with the promise yeah. of giving you... Uh, <laughs> Euphoria. Uh, uh, Euphoria. Yeah, Euphoria. So Euphoria. Like power to, power to <laughs> conquer <laughs> people who haven't, who haven't wronged you. <laughs> <laughs> So you have, yeah, so you have the chocolates you have, and then the packaged foods, you yes. know. Um, look, people are doing a lot of things mm. and we are just encouraging all of them to be part of This Is Ghana. And some of the cosmetics. The cosmetics, cosmetics is part of it. Used, I mean, apart from when somebody gives me a gift mm. or something, my creams, my soaps. Yeah. I used to have very bad acne because I have oily skin. Since mm -hmm. I started using the Made in Ghana products, I haven't had that issue. Mm. So, people, so what have you been using for your skin? It is Made in Ghana products. Yeah. My hair. Oh, you know, you, it's, uh, it's, uh, you know, share butter. But I think it's, it's a new day for us yeah. as, as Ghanaians, Ghanaians and yeah. Africans when it comes to some of these consumables. Because, you know, in times past, a lot of the things that we used 
uh, that's supposedly imported are things that they don't use in their countries of, of origin. That's true. A lot of them, they themselves, they, they don't, don't use. use it. That's true. Wow. They, they are created for Africa. Mm. Mm. Yeah. There used to be a product called Ambi back yes. in the day. <laughs> A M B I. A -M -B -I. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that thing, that thing alone has yeah. destroyed almost 25% uh, of the faces of Ghana. Yeah, I think yeah. it had some past. bleaching. Mm. Yes. Yeah. It's still uh, on the market. But nobody somewhere. uses it in, in yeah, America and the UK. Yeah. Yeah. No. You, you get me? <laughs> but here, you have shared butter-based products. Mm. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. yeah. And yet, nobody talks about them. Mm. But we say that we'll keep pushing them and make sure that they take over. Yeah. They take over. Yeah. And, and it cuts across plenty. And you can go on even Instagram mm. and check Made in Ghana uh, Cosmetics. Yeah. You'll be amazed yeah. at the wonderful yeah. job that people are doing. Yeah. So we are also inviting them. Then we are talking about the wood and metal designs. Mm -hmm. People are doing amazing stuff mm. with woodwork. You know, yeah. uh, design of pergola, design of uh, craft items, yeah. um, furniture, uh, furniture yeah. and, and all that. Mm. We are inviting all of them. And then metal fabrications, mm. you know, things that, you know, before people had to import from yeah. outside. Yeah. We are doing them here, only yeah. that the awareness levels are low. Mm -hmm. So we are inviting all of them to be part. And then the last one I'll talk about is uh, real estate and construction. Okay. okay. I mean, when we talk about made in Ghana, mm -hmm. Uh, it it mm -hmm. normally doesn't make the final yeah. cut. Yeah, <laughs> you understand. Yeah, but all the components needed for construction are right here. Your nails, mm. your cement. Mm. Now you have your mm. gasem, you have your diamond cement, you have your jata cement, mm. and and there are there are others, mm. all made in Ghana. The iron rods. So, yeah. Yes. So yeah. we are saying that this is a time to feature, showcase, and promote mm. all these capabilities yeah. uh, and, and, and products. Um, so, so basically, to cut across all industries. Mm. And also, they will be doing a lot of selling there. Um, and at such functions, the price points are normally lower than what mm. you find in the trade. Mm. So if you are also looking to buy, you can... Um, join us on the 27th and on the 28th uh, of this month yeah. at the AMA court. Yeah. I, I have a feeling that um, just like we experienced at the Back to Your Village Food Bazaar, we're going to be oversubscribed in terms of uh, patronage. It's, um, it's a feature of City events. <laughs> <laughs> in terms of patronage. So, I mean, definitely. Well, I mean, um, see, when, when we were, I, I, I just lost track of some of these activities in the last 20 years but when we were in in school i think where they used to do gifx yeah um and and that's furniture fair mm. uh, indutech yeah. industrial yeah. fair yeah. and stuff like that the trade fair you know you you had numbers <laughs> okay but they they would go there for entertainment yeah, yeah. People would just go there and dance and eat, yeah. eat and it, go away. Yeah. It's true, you it's, know. It's true. We are, we are hoping that, yes, you will be entertained when you come there, but we are hoping that you will have a, a, a far superior reason hmm. to come than just to come and hear music and, yeah. and, 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 and find food to time. eat. Yeah. Yeah. Because these two, you can get it wherever you are. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a more superior reason of getting exposed to uh, new things that we are doing in Ghana. Um, the things that you could buy that you never knew were available in mm -hmm. Ghana. So these are some of the reasons that people should nice. attend. Um, this is Ghana on the 27th and 28th of, of this well, month. That's just next week. Yep. Just yeah, next week. It sounds scary. Yes. <laughs> it, is, it, is, it is, isn't it? <laughs> but people can still call you know, to register. The number is 0205-973-973. 0205-973-973. And if you've already called and done some level of registration, but you haven't paid, 
payment secures your spots mm. on the day. Mm. We have situations where we're doing things like this. People will call, they'll put their names down, names yeah. of their businesses down. Now two days, it's like, oh, but yeah, I was the first person to call. <laughs> I called the first day the yeah. number was mentioned. Yeah. Yeah. But you no, didn't it doesn't work like mm. that. But these, these are for exhibitors. Yes, yes. these are exhibitors. for exhibitors. For visitors and participants, yeah. it's, it's free yes. access, mm -hmm. free entry. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. All right. I want to say a big yes. thank you also to our sponsors, um, Enterprise Group, Advance Ghana, um, Exeb Bank, and uh, Gepa. Yes. Gepa. Yeah. Ghana Gepa Exports Promotion doing Authority. Doing a lot of promotion, yeah. Yeah. promoting. Yeah. And we also have the involvement and the support of uh, GIPC okay. and Ghana Tourism Authority. Nice, 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 yeah. nice, nice. You can't go wrong. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, Samet, thank yes, you very thank much you. for joining us thank this morning. Thank you very much. It's been thank a salute. Always really a joy well. to have you. Yeah. 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 I like the color of your hair. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yeah. See, one of the biggest fans of my hair. People yeah. don't know. Yeah. I like the color of your hair. <laughs> Every now and then he asks me, so what color are you? will you change it soon? Uh -huh. <laughs> now, I want Kuku David to also color his beard. <laughs> this week, hey. I was going to say that I've been, as yeah. I'm looking, I'm being tempted, but... I'm fighting a temptation. Oh, no, no. <coughs> As for this temptation, there, yeah, allow yourself to be <laughs> to be overcome so that you can balance hey. it. So, okay. <laughs> All concerned parties that are watching, mm -hmm. yes. we are getting ready to do some colorization. Yeah. All right, we'll take a short break. Don't go anywhere. Breakfast Daily will continue shortly.